District Noir is a card game where you play the head of one of two local crime organization leaders trying to vie for territory and support. You try to rally people to your side while aiming to control the three strategic locations that District Noir has to offer. In District Noir, there are three types of cards. One, support cards. These cards will be scored at the end of the game based on sets of five, six, seven, and eight, as well as most of each number. Two, alliance and betrayal cards that add positive and negative points at the end of the game. Three, city cards. If all three city cards are ever present in one player's tableau at one time, that player immediately wins. To set up for the game, you will want to shuffle the 45 cards that make up the District Noir deck. This deck contains the three city cards, 26 support cards, seven alliance cards, and nine betrayal cards. Once you have finished shuffling, you will remove three cards from the deck without looking. These cards will not be included in the game. Then you will deal five cards to each player face down. Finally, place the remainder of the deck face down in the center of the table and flip over the top two cards face up to start the center row. Each player chooses a side of the faction token and this token is flipped to see who goes first. A singular turn is simple, choose one of two actions. One, play a card from your hand into the center row. Or two, take the last five cards from the center row starting with the last card placed. You can only do this once per round. First action, play a card from your hand into the center row. This is pretty self-explanatory. You play a card from your hand into the center row. You have to think of what cards might potentially tempt or discourage the other player from taking when you do not or do want them to take from the center row. Keep in mind that during the course of the round, you will have to play all the cards that are in your hand into the center row before the round can end. Second action, take the last five cards. You will take the last five cards starting with the last card placed and moving inward. You cannot take this action if there are no cards in the center, but you can take this action if there are fewer than five. In this case, you will just take all the current cards in the row. Remember, this is the only way to get cards into your tableau to score at the end of the game. You can only perform this action once per round. The end of the round occurs once all players have played their hands into the current row and both players have taken cards from the center row. Flip over the faction token to note the next player is going first this round, deal out five more cards face down to each player and continue rounds until the deck runs out. Once the deck is empty, you can start scoring. Look at each player's tableau and add the positive and negative numbers granted by the Alliance and Betrayal cards. Then organize your support cards into sets of five, six, seven, and eight. Each of these sets will grant you five points. Total up the number of each support card, and these cards will grant their number value in points to the player that has the most of each number. For example, the player with the most 8s gets 8 points. In the case of a tie, no points are awarded for that number. Add everything up and determine the winner. Now that you know how to play, let me give you my final thoughts on the game. I had the distinct honor of demoing this game for Pandasaurus at Gen Con this year, and I had a lot of fun teaching it to people. I sat in on this game and taught this game many times, and it never really got old. It's super easy to learn, super easy to teach, and it's super table and shelf friendly. It seems super simple at first, but there is some complex strategy to it, and as you play this game more and more, you start to lean more into the strategy aspects of it. I recommend this game for anyone who's looking for a quick, on-the-go game that they could take with them, teach really easily, and play over and over again in the span of a short sitting. Check out the link down below in the comments to pick up a copy for yourself. It's no extra cost to you, and it really helps out the channel. If you like what you saw here today, please hit that like button. Comment down below, have you tried out District Noir? Have you played any other Pandasaurus games? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward, and ring that bell so you know what's up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Hi, Tasia Valenza, aka Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.